Hey guys, Mike from Fortinet Guru here. Just wanted to touch base real quick on a extra added layer of granularity when it comes to creating your policies. A lot of people will keep their policies very, very simple. And basically what that means is source IP addresses or network to the destination using these services, allow or not. And of course they apply the, the layer 7 policies as they see fit. Um, quick disclosure, I use zones on my firewall, so that's why you see inside and outside. Um, basically, I have my internal networks tied to an inside zone, and my outside WAN interface is tied to an outside zone. So basically, let's say you have iPhone devices that you want to be able to get to specific areas. Um, when you're creating your policy, of course, name it in a manner to where you can easily identify it. Um, incoming interface, where they're coming from to outside. And then, of course, you want to actually set it. So this is iPhone specific. So I chose iPhone from the device area. And I chose my local internal network um, on the address area. And then, of course, for this case, I'll just do all, all. And basically, this gives me a basic policy. Very, very generic. It's just as simple as you know the most policies that people create. The only difference is it has another qualifier on it. If it's not an iPhone, it won't hit this policy. And then basically what this does is this gives you the ability to create security profiles, application control, traffic shaping, um, web filtering, etc., specific to those devices. Um, there have been cases where it's actually fairly common, um, deep packet inspection or SSL interception, etc. It does not work well on iOS devices unless you, of course, are able to install the certificate. A lot of cases you're not going to be able to install an SSL cert on the phone itself because the user is not going to let you do that. So you just give them their own separate policy that locks them down, etc. Of course, you know, you probably want those phones on their own device, own network anyways, but but that's the skinny of it. It's really, really easy. It's just it's as simple as clicking over here on the on the device tab in five four three and saying, you know, hey, it's it's an iPhone. So this policy needs to apply to iPhones. Or if you wanted to create one for you know your Windows devices or your printers. Anything like that, that basically opens you up for increasing your granularity on your policy set. Um, it's common for people to just come down here and say, this all out policy, this is my anti-break policy. If my wife comes home, and she hops on her computer, and something doesn't work, it's it means I get my butt chewed out. So, I have this policy with some pretty stringent AV, web filtering, etc. And if it doesn't match on one of these higher ones, this is the default out. Now obviously this counters the implicit deny at the bottom. That's a chance I'm willing to take because this isn't a production environment where I have to worry too much. Of course, you know, I'm sitting here running a twelve hundred dollar firewall at my house when all I have is a home theater PC and a couple of laptops behind it. So to each their own. But yeah, added granularity. Like for instance, I know my home theater PC is a Windows machine. So I could click that if I wanted to. Etc. etc. So, you know, something to take into consideration, help yourself out, make your policies as granular and as specific as possible, especially if you're operating in a, um, a production environment where personally identifiable information and things that, where you have to meet like certain regulatory compliances, etc. come in handy. So, um, that's it for this. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'll be more than happy to, to answer them in the comments or come up with a response video to add greater detail, but I figured it'd be nice to have the, the quick and dirty on device-specific policies. So thank you much. Bye.